Headley was born into the world a healthy baby boy on September 24, 2004. He was living an ordinary life, hanging out with his sisters, playing outside, and eating and drinking just like everyone else. Batten disease is a genetic disorder that has to do with the buildup of substances called lipopigments in the bodies of tissues. Lipopigments are made up of fats and tissues. The lipopigments build up in the cells of the brain, eyes, and many other tissues throughout the body. This disease causes Jake to lack an enzyme that would normally filter out these fats and proteins. Out of every 100,000 people born in the U.S., only two to four are diagnosed with Batten disease. Neuronal steroid lipofusinosis, or Batten disease, has four main forms, along with a few very uncommon ones. The most common types are infantile, late infantile, juvenile, and adult. Jake has been diagnosed with the late infantile stage. His life expectancy ranges between 8 and 12 years. It's like watching the night sky. When Jake was two years old, his dad and I started to have some concerns over his speech. So we started speech therapy with him, which he was doing very well in, but then unfortunately at the age of three, he started to have seizures. So that was the next thing we needed to deal with. We got him into a neurologist who eventually diagnosed him with epilepsy, which simply means that he had had two or more seizures and needed to go on anti-seizure medication to attempt to stop the seizures. Well, we tried many different medications over a course of about 15 months, and the seizures just continued, and in fact, they got worse. Uh, in the meantime, we had noticed that he didn't seem to be developing either as far as his uh, gross motor skills, his fine motor skills, his language. Uh, in fact, he started to lose skills that he had already learned. So we had obviously a lot of concern. We took him to many, many doctors over the course of this 15 months. He had many tests run. We actually tested him for approximately 15, I'm sorry, 50 diseases and syndromes over this period and they all came back negative. Eventually, when Jake was four and a half, this regression continued and he had lost his ability to walk, he lost his ability to talk and he was also beginning to lose his eyesight. So it was at that point that his neurologist felt like he needed to be tested for Batten disease because these were all symptoms of Batten disease. When Jake was five, the test results finally came back and he was tested positive for neuronal steroid lipofusinosis, otherwise known as Batten disease. And Jake has a type called the late infantile type. A month after being diagnosed, Jake began having difficulty chewing and swallowing, and he lost a lot of weight. He got very sick, and he was admitted into the hospital. There, he had a feeding tube surgically placed in his stomach. For nutrition, Jake is fed Pediasure formula. Over time, Jake's muscles have become more tense or tight due to lack of use. To relieve this pain, he takes two medicines called baclofen and clonidine. Along with those, he takes clonopin, Banzel, Keppra, Zonagran, Prilosec, D3, Robinol, and Miralax. Additionally, Jake has a dislocated hip due to lack of use, he has scoliosis, and lots of respiratory issues. Most importantly, Jake is almost completely blind and he is bedridden. Well, I've definitely learned so much by being with him, like living in the same house with him. And um, I just learned so many important things. And I know how to deal with a lot of situations that most people wouldn't be able to deal with. And I know how to just do things that are different than what other people would be able to deal with. Because Batten disease is so rare, not much research is being done to search for a cure. But even though not many people have this disease, it deserves a cure too. Growing up with a sick brother like Jake is not something I would have ever imagined or wished for, but I cherish every moment with him. On our 